Alright. So, we continue. Okay. So, um, so I already explained about dose attack. Now, we go to deduce attack. This deduce attack, we use of numerous computers to launch a dose. So, macam tadi, you ada, macam contohnya, you ada satu attacker. So, sekarang ni attack ni kan, didistribute kan dia punya kerja dengan some of the handler. And this handler have their zombies, their own zombies to attack the victim. And usually, the victim will be the server. So, dia bagi-bagilah. Okay. Uh, macam contohnya, if I'm not mistaken, want the music. For the music in US, uh, dia adalah, kalau kita tahu US, dia punya industri yang besar antaranya adalah entertainment. So, dia pernah nak kena ada somebody want to have the, uh, macam try ada cybercrime. So, they want to attack the one music system ke website, tak ingat. So, so dia shut down. Okay, dia shut down benda tu. Okay, so selalunya dia kena shut down apa? Server lah. Dia kena shut down server to make sure bila shut down server, bila server dah kena, dia terus shut down supaya benda tak 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 tersebar ke tempat lain. Okay. Um, macam, I, uh, I'm not remember in Malaysia, um, dulu, masa zaman pemerintah yang dulu, uh, um, our, our, gov uh, our government pernah kena uh somebody try to give a warn okay warning uh about if they don't change the government system okay they will they will make sure that they will destroy some of the data from our uh our national security for the kdn okay uh and then uh, our education system and also the uh, the uh, mostly about security and education and we know that in Malaysia education and national security is quite uh, is very important okay it's very important so uh, what happened to the university I, I I don't know about national security but for the university uh, we think that oh there is nothing but what happened okay what happened uh, was uh, the university try to uh, close the application uh, for the for the staff. Okay, they will uh, say that okay. Uh, at a certain time, you you cannot access this particular platform. At a certain time, you cannot access to this particular platform. And at a certain time, uh, 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 at the, at at the time at, at the uh, time period, okay, what happened? Uh, you may access the email, the email uh, platform, okay, but maybe um, at this, uh, at, uh, you have the limitation to access the email platform. Okay, so they try to close everything. Uh, so uh, that's what UITM did. I I, I, uh, I don't know about other university, tapi itu benda yang berlaku pada tu. Uh, uh, tapi UITM dah cakap, okay, eh, kita dalam bahaya. Tak, they have to keep calm. Okay, keep calm and make sure that uh, all the staff know what to do. Okay, so uh, dia tak adalah macam teruk. Okay, kita tutup sistem. Hacker nak hack kita punya sistem. Confirm semua orang akan menggelabah, kan? So, apa yang dia buat? They try to overcome. They try to make sure that all the data dah ada. Kita dah, kita dah ada kop, kita copy ke mana-mana lah. Uh, especially banyak benda okey sebab masa tu uh, hacker tu dia memang keluar dekat dalam TV saya tak tahu lah you all tengok ke tidak uh, saya tak ingat tu bila tapi 20 confirm sebelum anak saya lahir lah maknanya before 2017 okey uh, masa tu dia bagi tahu okey um, dia akan try to destroy uh, itu bahaya okey uh, hacker biasalah, dia guna suara lain, dia pakai topeng, itu dah biasa. Itu memang hacker punya, apa, dia punya sinonim lah yang you akan tengok. Okay, and then we have botnet. Botnet ni apa? Dia adalah network of zombie PCs infiltrated by bot malware. Okay, deliver 90% of world spam and 80% of world 
small way. Ini kita takut spam. Kalau spam mail tu, kalau you rasa macam you tak yakin, delete je. Okay, spam mail, bug mail. Okay, kalau you tak yakin siapa dia punya sender, please delete. Alright. Okay, this is the anatomy of the botnet attack. Okay, you tengok kat sini, number one, criminal infect your computer with malware. And then they send the attack orders to server. And then infected computer retrieve the order. And the computer carry out the order attacking the target. Okay, so nampak eh, this is the anatomy. Okay, the anatomy yang berlaku, okay, bila kita, bila dia membuat botnet. Okay, sebab dia ada zombie. So, zombie tu, dia tidak macam mana, macam email, dia dia attack pakai apa? Spam mail. You tak yakin pun ada orang hantar dekat you, tiba-tiba dia masuk dekat spam. Uh, tapi, you buka juga. Lepas tu, you pun tengok. Lepas tu, you pun klik. Oh, tu klik, you klik. So, benda tu akan jadi, itu adalah cara botnet attack to your computer system. So, what is computer crime? Okay. Computer crime is any violation of criminal law involve a knowledge of computer technology for their perpetration, investigation or prosecution. So, kat sini maksudnya dia ada knowledge dalam computer technology. Dia tahu macam mana nak uh, deal with the crime. Okay. Kita ada dua cara sama ada computer as target. Okay. Kita target dekat computer orang. Okay, we breach the confidentiality, access the computer system with the authority, or computer as instrument. Okay, kita guna computer kita untuk mencuri, kita guna computer kita untuk, uh, untuk breach, untuk, untuk access. Okay, kita guna computer kita and use email for threats or harassment. Macam contoh lah eh, saya nak hack computer orang. So, saya nak hack computer orang. Saya, saya menggunakan komputer. So, komputer saya adalah instrumen. Komputer orang tu adalah target. Okay. So, dia, ini, that's why kita panggil dia sebagai komputer crime. It is a criminal. Bersal, uh, you pecah masuk, confirm it is a criminal. Okay. Tak ada, tak ada, tak ada kata macam, tak ada maaf bagi mula lah dekat situ. Uh, okay. Uh, satu lagi. Uh, dulu ada satu berlaku, uh, dia tak ada macam kata, oh saya tengok buku orang ni, ya oh, macam, macam hacker je buka dia. Tak ada eh, kita tak kenal pun. Sebab to be a hacker, you have to try so many times and then uh, you try to listen uh, and then you learn. You learn about the network protocol, you learn about the organization protocol, you learn about the network system, you learn about how to bridge. Okay, so banyak macam tu. Uh, in Korea, in year 2015 or 14, I didn't remember, uh, they hack into uh, the bank system in Switzerland. Dia dapat hack, dah hack, tiba-tiba tengok duit banyak, so dia steal. Bila dia dah curi, apa yang berlaku, dalam satu jam dia kena tangkap. Dan this Korean people ni, dia adalah Uh, computer students uh, if I'm not mistaken lah dia adalah student computer belajar computer uh, kalau you tengok buka dia pun you tak tahu macam lah criminal ke ha, macam tu lah ok sampai satu jam je sebab you kena ingat satu benda nak detect the criminal for the computer crime we have to detect by using computer juga Sebab dia menggunakan alatan dan kita pun kena cari dia menggunakan alatan. Kita tak bolehlah macam buat penjelasan macam boleh berlaku. That's why kalau you pernah dengar kita ada satu kos yang kita panggil sebagai computer forensik. Uh, itulah dia tugas dia. Okay. Kita buat forensik, kita buat benda siasat dekat komputer tu. Okay. Next we have identity theft. Okay. Theft or personal to impersonate is someone else. Buat penyamaran. Okay. Fishing. Uh, kita setting up fake website or sending email message that look like legitimate business to us users for confidential personal data. Kita buat fake up, uh, kita buat fake website. Okay. Uh, lepas tu evil tweet. Kita wireless network that pretend to offer trustworthy Wi-Fi connection to the internet. You nak, you nak guna internet. You nak pakai, you nak pakai uh, uh, apa internet free. So, you pun masuk. Rupanya dia adalah evil twin. Dia buat penyamaran bahawa dia adalah trustworthy 
Wi-Fi connection. Sebenarnya bukan. Okay. That's why sebelum you nak access apa-apa, please check. Okay. And the farming redirect users to a bogus web page even when individual types correct web page address into his or her browser. Tu yang dia cakap tu. You type Google tapi dia pergi Google. Okay. Dia, dia, dia alihkan you ke tempat lain. And then we have click fraud. Okay, when individual or computer program fraudulent clicks on online ad without any intention of learning more about the advertiser or making a purchase. You seronok sangat duk tekan advertisement-advertisement yang sedia ada. Okay. Okay, ini antara contohnya lagi lah. Ini untuk farming. So, attacker dia akan pergi kepada server. So, dia akan tengok dekat uh, attacker akan pergi kepada server. So, this is legitimate site. So, Uh, yes, yang user dia akan pergi pada server Dia akan pergi Ini is legitimate site Tapi dia akan pergi direct kepada fake site Okay So this is phishing uh, They try to uh, Hantar the URL yang tak sepatutnya Yang salah lah Okay yang salah Yang you kadang-kadang you tak perasan pun Okay you tak perasan pun macam Eh rupanya kita pergi salah website Next we have Cyber Terrorism. Okay, cyber terrorism, dia ada kena menggunakan terrorist juga. Okay, it is a cyber criminal activities. They launch the malware, reduce attacks, and phishing probes are borderless. Meaning that they try to target the country. Okay, the country or organization outside in your uh, outside the, your country. Okay, so usually uh, it happen uh, in uh, negara-negara maju lah. For example, like China, China, US, South Korea, Russia, Taiwan, UK, even India, even Iraq. Okay, especially yang ada macam uh, kuasa dekat uh, dunia ni. Uh, so, me mereka memang ada benda-benda ni. Okay, sebab bila diorang ada teroris, dia mesti ada cyber teroris juga. Sebab bila kita tak boleh serang negara tu, kita guna cyber. Okay, kita guna cyber. Okay, so it is the global nature of the internet. Makes it possible for cyber criminals to operate and to do harm anywhere in the world. If they want to, uh, to disturb uh, the the network system of that particular country, so uh, kita akan guna cyber terrorism. Okay, and then kita ada cyber warfare. It is a state-sponsored activity designed to cripple and defeat another state or nation by penetrate the computer or network for the purpose of causing damage and disruption. Maknanya dia ada satu macam Fair, ada fun yang macam menjaga dia orang ni buat kerja. Ha. Okay, sama tak macam teroris? Sama, cuma dia dalam bentuk cyber. So, dia macam tak boleh nampak. Ha. Sama kan? Ha. So, it have become much more widespread, sophisticated and potentially devastating. Okay? Okay, uh, next we move to internal threats. Okay, internet threats and software vulnerability. So, I will stop until here. So, nanti I akan sambung untuk uh, yang disun pula. Okay, thank you guys.